Hello everyone, thank you for tuning in today. My name is McCade Marshall and this is Word of the Week. Word of the Week is a short video I shoot every single week for my readers and viewers, so thank you for tuning in today. At the end of this video, if you enjoy this message, I encourage you to share this video with your friends, with your family, with your coworkers, and all your loved ones and help spread the good news. And you can do that by copying the link to this video and pasting it in your email and onto Facebook, Twitter, and all your favorite social media sites. So make sure to share this video at the end of this message. Also, I have a YouTube channel at youtube.com that you can subscribe to for all my latest videos. And the channel's just my name, McCade Marshall. And if you'd like to be on my emailing and mailing list, you can go to McCadeMarshall.com, click on the Word of the Week tab, fill out the form there, and I'd be more than happy to email you these videos every single Sunday evening free of charge. So make sure to check that out at the end of this message. All right, well, the Word of the Week for this week is be on the alert. We are in a spiritual battle. When time began, the world was made perfect by God. However, when Adam and Eve were deceived by the devil who came to them in the form of a serpent in the Garden of Eden, they were tempted, bit into the forbidden fruit, and sin entered the world. Since even before the fall of mankind, when Adam and Eve slipped up, the devil has been at war with God's people. Because we have an enemy called Satan or the devil, we need to be on the alert. This is what the Apostle Peter tells us in 1 Peter chapter 4, verse 8, saying, Be of sober spirit. Be on the alert. Your adversary, the devil, prowls around like a roaring lion, seeking someone to devour. The devil is the enemy of God's kingdom. He is looking for people to devour and consume. Just as he saw an opportunity to deceive Adam and Eve after God told them not to eat the fruit from only one particular tree in the Garden of Eden, Likewise, he is also looking for ways to tempt us to stumble and sin too. Jesus tells us the, the devil's true nature when he tells his disciples in John chapter 8, verse 44, The devil was a murderer from the beginning. He has always hated the truth because there is no truth in him. When he lies, it is consistent with his character, for he is a liar and the father of lies. The devil seeks to distort the word of God and the truth. His goal is to deceive people from knowing the truth about God and about God's word. This is why as believers we need to be vigilant studying God's Word, which is the Bible, and be on the alert against the enemy's deceptive tactics. The Bible also warns us to have an alert spirit when Jesus tells the disciples to be ready for his second coming. He says in Matthew chapter 24, verse 42, Therefore be on the alert, for you do not know which day your Lord is coming. Again, Jesus says in Mark chapter 13, verse 37, What I say to you, I say to all, be on the alert. One day, Jesus is going to rapture his church from the earth. Those who are serving God will literally be taken from the earth in an instant, while those who are not following Christ will be left here on the earth. Jesus describes what this miraculous day of rapturing his people will be like, saying in Ma Matthew chapter 24, verse 37 through 41, When the Son of Man, which is Jesus, 
returns. It will be like it was in Noah's day. In those days before the flood, the people were enjoying banquets and parties and weddings right up to the time Noah entered his boat. People didn't realize what was going to happen until the flood came and swept them all away. That is the way it will be when the Son of Man, which is Jesus, comes again. Two men will be working together in the field. One will be taken, the other will be left. Two women will be grinding flour at the mill. One will be taken, the other left. What Jesus is telling us is to always be on the alert as Christians. There is not a day that goes by when we are excused from following Christ. We are called to live as Christians 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, and 365 days a year. And yes, even 366 days a year on a leap year. The reason Jesus wants us alert is because he knows the devil is out to try and get God's children off track. Jesus defeated the devil in his work when he died on the cross and rose from the grave. He took away the keys of death and hell from the devil so that we could have eternal life in his name. For this reason, the devil is very angry and know the clock is ticking before he is thrown into the lake of fire forever by God in his condemned judgment. Revelation chapter 12 verse 12 tells us, Woe to the earth and the sea, because the devil has come down to you, having great wrath and anger, knowing that he has only a short time. The devil's time to deceive people and bring harm on the world is short. Knowing this, we should be on the alert against his schemes of deception. The good news today is, is we have already defeated the devil because of the blood of Jesus that was shed for our sins. When we confess Jesus as the Lord of our life and follow him with all of our heart, the devil is powerless to stop us from fulfilling our God-given destiny. However, he will do all he can to try and limit or delay you from fulfilling your purpose. The key to defeating the enemy as we pursue our dreams is found in James chapter 4, verse 7, which says, So humble yourselves before God. Resist the devil, and he will flee from you. When you humble yourself before God, saying no to your carnal desires and yes to the promises found in God's word, then a supernatural power is released, enabling you to go further and accomplish more in your lifetime than you ever thought possible. Jeremiah chapter 1 verse 12 tells us God is watching over his word at all times to make sure it is carried out to completion. This means when you place your trust in God and what he says he is going to do in the Bible, then you have God and his mighty angels moving on your behalf to make things happen. Be on the alert. The enemy is not going to sit idly by while you pursue God and all the amazing plans he has in store for you. Be on the alert. Jesus is coming back again, and he seeks to find you faithfully serving him when he does. Be on the alert. You have a divine purpose and destiny to fulfill. By the grace of God, I believe you are coming up higher and going to accomplish every purpose you are created by God to achieve. Well, I want to pray over you really quick that you would get this message about be on the alert into your spirit. 
And Jesus tells us to be alert because he knows we're in a spiritual battle. He knows the enemy's time here on the earth is short. And he knows that he is coming back again. When God the Father says, time is up, it's time to harvest my children out of the earth. He says, be on the alert, be alert, be watchful. Long to see Jesus Christ because he loves you. He wants you to be with him in his kingdom forever and eternity. Where true perfection lives. Where true full life exists forever. This world is just temporary. So I want to pray over you really quick that you'd be encouraged in your heart and have an alert spirit. To be on the alert against both the enemy's tactics and expectant about Jesus' second return. So wherever you are, if you want to bow your head and close your eyes and listen along as I pray over this message. Father God, thank you so much for giving us an alert spirit. Father, as we go about our days, help us to be on the alert both against the enemy and also to be on the alert for what you're doing in our lives and to know that there really is a rapture coming one day when the trumpets sound, you're going to call forth your children and we are literally going to meet you in the air. It's a miraculous thing. It's where eternity and earth meet. So I thank you for everyone listening and watching right now that we can be so full of joy, so hopeful, so full of light, knowing that you're coming back. You didn't leave us as orphans, but you sent us your Holy Spirit to give us an alert spirit, to be aware of what's going on around us, and not only to know that the enemy's trying to attack in certain ways, but to come against him, to resist him, to pray, and to know that you have him defeated. You have all authority. So anything anyone's dealing right now, a struggle, a temptation, an addiction, a health problem, in Jesus' name, we come against that in Jesus' name. I speak healing, restoration, freedom, and life in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, I want to tell you the first step to having a relationship with God is by receiving the free gift of salvation that comes by having a personal relationship with Jesus Christ and making him the Lord of your life. And the Bible says that Jesus paid the punishment for our sins. He died so that we wouldn't be separated from God forever and go to hell. That's where the devil is headed. He's condemned. But Jesus didn't come to condemn the world. He came to save the world. So if you've never received the free gift of Christ's salvation, or maybe you just want to rededicate your life, would you pray this prayer with me and just invite Jesus to come into your heart and be Lord of your life? So wherever you are, if you want to bow your head, close your eyes, and just repeat after me this prayer. Lord Jesus, thank you for coming to die on the cross for my sins. I repent of my sins. Come into my heart. I make you my Lord and Savior. Amen. Well, if you prayed that prayer, the Bible says that you have been spiritually born again and that your name is written in the Lamb's Book of Life. So welcome to the family of God. And the next step in your faith journey is get involved in a good Bible-based Christian church and Christian community and let others encourage you along in your faith. Study the Word together. And be water baptized as a public profession of your faith in Christ. The Bible says when you're baptized, you're dying to the old way of life symbolically and you're being raised to newness of life in Christ. So be water baptized as a public declaration of your faith. And, and read your Bible every day. The Bible is the Word of God. It's the foundation of our faith. It's the eternal truth of God. So read your Bible every day and grow in faith and pray. Talk to God like you would your very best friend. The Bible says that we are to cast our cares on God because He cares about us. He loves you and He wants to communicate with you through prayer. So make sure you're praying every day and building that personal relationship with God. And tell someone that you gave your life to Christ. Maybe tell a friend. You can tell a pastor. You can tell a loved one. Someone you know that is a Christian. And let them help you along in your faith journey. And also I have a website with a lot of great resources as well. And my website is just my name, McCade Marshall. Dot com. And on McCadeMarshall.com, there's 
over a hundred other Word of the Week videos just like this one that you can scroll through and watch and re-watch and share. You can watch it with a friend even. If you'll click on that Word of the Week tab, scroll through those videos and watch some of them. I promise you they will just encourage you in your faith and help you to learn new things about God. And also, I'm a writer and I mail out newsletters free of charge every three months to my subscribers. So if you'll click on that newsletters tab, fill out the form there, I'd be more than happy to add you to my mailing list and mail you my latest newsletter. And also, I have a few books on my website that you can order. I'd be more than happy to sign those books and ship them to you. And the latest book I wrote is called Finding Your Keys. And Finding Your Keys has 12 different keys or spiritual truths that will unlock the supernatural power of God for you to take authority over the enemy and to, to have more authority as a Christian in your life that Christ has already given you. So it's a great read to empower you to live with the authority that was meant to be yours. And another book I wrote that you can check out as well is called Breathe. And Breathe is all about God breathing new life into your God-given dreams. And at the end of each chapter of Breathe, there's prayers you can pray full of scriptures that will just help you in your prayer life as well. And the first book I wrote that you can order is called Tasting the Goodness of God. And Tasting the Goodness of God is a 31-day daily devotional I wrote to help you learn how to spend time with God each and every day. So if you don't have a copy of my books, Finding Your Keys, Breathe, or Tasting the Goodness of God, check those books out. I'd be more than happy to sign them and ship them to you. All right, well, in closing, I just want to declare a special blessing over you. I declare you are on the alert. No weapon the devil forms against you is going to prosper. When the enemy comes at you one way, he is going to flee seven ways. Because you are on the alert, you are overcoming addictions, obstacles, and any other chains of bondage holding you back from God's best for your life. The enemy may know that his time is short and have many dark forces trying to work against you, but you have the almighty, all-powerful God and his massive heavenly army defending you and defeating your enemies. With God's help, there is nothing you cannot achieve in Jesus' name. Well, I love you and I'm praying for you. God bless you.